In today's webinar, we are talking to some fantastic guests about vaccines, uh, specifically developing a vaccine against the SARS-CoV-2. So there's no one size fits all. There's no saying that what any one of these technologies is better than the others. They all have different safety implications, different manufacturing information. Uh, and we do need to remember that when we're thinking about designing vaccines, if it's something that we want to use on a large scale, we have to be able to make a lot of it uh, and not too expensively either. Otherwise, we're not actually going to be able to deploy the vaccine. So taking all of those things into account, uh, we then need to think about what level of immune response do we need to protect against the pathogen that we're trying to deal with? Um, and for coronaviruses, we actually don't know. We don't have any vaccines against any of the human coronaviruses. So all of the people developing vaccines now against SARS-CoV-2 don't really know what they're aiming at. So it's going to be really big news when the first vaccine manages to demonstrate efficacy in a phase three trial, because that will then be correlated with the immune response that that vaccine generated and that will inform the development of all the other vaccines, which may be using different technologies, uh, and it will um, speed progress for all of them. The flip side is everyone wants a vaccine as quickly as possible, but it takes time and uh, you have to do a staged testing process where you begin with a small number of people looking for safety and immune responses. You then go from like 50 to 500 looking for the same thing. And then you go to 5,000 or 30,000 people to answer the real question. And that staged system is meant to find problems and, and meant to get rid of dangerous things. And if you move too quickly, you could possibly miss signals of danger. We have to understand that we're all in this together globally, globally. I mean, look at Hong Kong today that has 100 cases and they have 100 cases. China has new cases because it doesn't go away just because you take care of it. Mm -hmm. We all have to get into this mindset that we're all fighting the same enemy. Mm -hmm.